Welcome back to video number 44. In this video, I wanted to take one last look at a navigation function that we created in the last video, this one right here. Okay, so you see how we have echo right here? I don't want to output this. I mean, it's still going to work. It's just not, I just don't want it to display in our browser. So I'm going to go ahead and change this from echo to a variable called output. So just follow along and I'll walk you through this. Okay, because we're going to, Instead of echoing it, I want to go ahead and do just, I want a return statement at the end. So any time we see echo, echo equals that, give it a little space right there. And let's go ahead and copy this whole thing and paste it in wherever we see echo. So here's an echo right here. Okay, but since this is the, our original variable, we want to append this. So remember, and equals. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and copy this because we're going to use our append equals for the remaining uh, echo. So let's go ahead and grab this and take a look at this. Okay, so we've got output class selected. I'm going to pause the video. Okay, let's just go ahead and try to keep this going. I think it's going to spit back in air, but again, let's keep our fingers crossed. So there's an echo. Where's another echo? Here's an echo as well. Here's another echo. You see three more. One, two, I'm going to go ahead and give this a space up here. Here's our third or fourth one. Echo equals. Okay. Now, how do we get this to return to our browser? Well, we need to use the return command. So let's go ahead and drop down a line and let's return our variable output. So now let's go to our new underscore PHP page or new underscore info page and we're gonna go ahead and here's our function right here we're gonna go and echo this now and I'll save that I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing for our content.php page and let's echo this out as well and let's see if this works okay well it worked okay here's our content.php page everything's still working accordingly let's try our new underscore info dot php page perfect alright guys I think we are ready to start making our form so we can log in so good luck with this and I'll see you guys in the next 